afternoon and welcome to Friday. Today's gonna be fun. We're gonna do some things, ew, even though I just got like so ugly outside. Dad, are you almost done? Me and Dad are gonna take the little bro, her friend, to go get an ice cream. Or as Michelle Tanner says, ice cream. Three, two, one, Dad! Doesn't he look fall and adorable? Dad, how do you feel that we're only gonna be living here? Me. Oh my god, yeah. Is that that thing. Sephora sample? Oh my god. Okay, wait, hold on. Zoom out for a dab look. Hold on, down to the shoes. Dad, you're a good dad. We have a 20 percent chance of rain apparently all evening long and that's Same. amazing and it's only gonna be like 90 degrees all week instead of 110. This Fine. loves fall. Bye. Oh my god oh. the sun came out and it's gay there's a rainbow I hope you see it I can't really see. Oh, the trees. No it's right. <coughs> right above the I'm hospital. shocked I spotted that before you bro. Can you tell I just held Leo? Look at Copper. He is Smalls' his best friend, aka his boyfriend. And right now, it's on sale for 11. Yeah, it's on sale so for 11. You... Hey guys, get scary with us. Where are we going, Dad? Oh, we're we going you... to Halloween City. Y'all, ring the alarm because we are doing our first Halloween stop of 2023. Okay, McKinsey. Me right now? It's cute. Dad, you could make those. Hey guys, it's me. I'm a preppy skeleton. Ew! Oh my god! <gasps> Zero's cute. Yes, Dad. No, I would never forget, honey. I always look at that. Look at this. This is the part when Dad's wanting to be the exorcist characters. I thought maybe we could do more missionaries one day. It's giving the max. Okay, see if you can guess what I'm tra trying to translate. Mid-man. Oh my gosh, good job, Dad. Dee Dee, you're the nice one. I just want to come out on the record and say I'm gay. The Hogates have done way too many costumes. It gets harder every year to come up with something, but remember when Kenzie was the cute Dorothy, not the sexy Dorothy? Kenzie wants one of these. But like for Halloween time, Dad, can't you see like giving pumpkin? Yes, it's so cute. And I like that it's tan. I think Dad said last year that we should get a Chucky doll decoration. Honey, I don't have my hand free. Will you push whatever you need to push to make him do whatever he's supposed to do? Okay, that's a lie. Let's try another one. Mr. Ryan. Nobody leaves me. Nobody. Okay, I don't want to say who that reminds later. me of. Hi, bestie. That's so... <laughs> That's so... I'm scared of them. <laughs> We're inside below now, and do you know anyone but me that's constantly shopping for pajamas? But wouldn't this be cute to have as a pajama shirt during Halloween time? Dad wants to show you things that he thinks is cool in Five Below. So he thinks this is cool. We have a Sally mug, but she doesn't look that pissed. We do. I like the more pissed off one. I just literally just said it and then I forgot, but we're doing Dad Likes Things, and this is another thing he likes. It's a glow in the dark night room for Christmas glow. by Tim Burton. Um, so cute. Come here. What? Whoa, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh, look at all the touches. Wow, the segment called Dad Likes Things is really going good today. Let me get this elbow. That is amazing. You know we love a good lady in the tramp. The Goosebumps one. What's that, Father? I could literally watch a show all day. Like, literally. Happiness. Have you guys ever watched That is so true. Baron seen Bears? Duh. Bro, do you like the shirt? What did she say? Kenzie just said that the kids are sure talking about Tashmina shawls. I don't buy that. There's no Yoshi on. Put it back on. Two, one. Put it back Hi on. Hi guys, we're Kenzie's new dads. We're just over here. We're gonna go pick up some bananas and then slip on them when we get home. It's gonna be so great. Oh my gosh, what are you? I love that skin color. Where'd you get your skin product from? Um, from Sephora. Now we can go. Hope you enjoyed shopping with us. We're home and the sun came out on this Friday, so we're gonna take our baby dog out on a little walk. It is we're so looking for a cotillion pretty. dress for Sunday for cotillion part two. Kenzie wore that two years ago to my cousin's funeral. It's a gorgeous dress. Sweetie. 
this one. This is my life. It's not. Look at what Dad's made. Mushroom sauce. Welcome to Dad Boyardee's kitchen. Dad's breakfast is very pretty. He explained it when he was cooking it that it's like a treasure map, kind of like what the Disney treasure thing did, but with his story. So if you go this way. Didi, what do these look like? If you look like this. Mountains. Mountains. What does this look like? Sand. And what does this look like? That represents on the treasure map. The meat, the meat for the feasts. Oh, the bones. Daddy! Lights, camera, bug city. Once upon a time, two years ago, no, two years ago, we went down to McKinney Trade Stays because uh -huh. we wanted to get Kenzie poppets and fidgets and they were selling them there. Okay. We went and we bought the fidgets and we were like, why don't we keep walking around? So Dee Dee and I, you weren't there. Dee Dee and I kept walking. And we found our way down to, I think it's the called Dragons. Puppy Lane or Dog Avenue or something cute. Okay. So we walked down and there were Cavaliers. This one and his brother. Did we plan on getting a dog that day? No. I did not plan on spending as much money as a Cavalier cost that day. And He just laid down. I. So then what happened? I was holding the brother. The bigger, Copper's the, brother? The bigger one. Dee Dee was holding copper, and then I'm pretty sure that I remember the woman, insert photo here, <gasps> of her. What a bitch! She was like, can I hold him? No! So, she held copper, and then Dee Dee was like... They were contemplating getting him. Yeah, they were contemplating getting him. You! And so... My dog! Um, Dee Dee was like, he literally reached over to her and he, you said something to me first. I don't remember what you said, but you like said That's something. That's that bitch, I want my puppy. You said something and you, he literally grabbed Copper was like, can I hold him again? And took him out of her hands. Literally. And then I was like, I want you can this. hold this one. <laughs> it wasn't even like a planned thing. It and was then just we went kind like of this. like a swapper -roo. And then we went like this. Yeah. Then mode, we then mowed the lady, we took copper, and we did yeah. this. Yeah, and once Dee Dee had him in his arms, it was like... Done. We knew, in that moment, oh, I was like, this is the setting up the story, on Monday it will be Copper's two-year gotcha... Anniversary. And so we're gonna get him a treat this weekend to celebrate. And we're gonna go to the place today for like an hour where we got him, and look at puppies for fun. We can get toys toy that, that from there for him. Rufus and um, oh, but isn't that weird that Copper was literally this close to having a whole different life? With show her, show Judy the picture of the woman. Okay, I just told Judy. I see what you're doing, girl. What shirt was she wearing the day we got Copper? Uh huh. She's wearing that as a good luck charm. She wants a second puppy. Oh, Larry. Now. Hey guys, sorry. Do it. Oh, please do it. Oh, sorry, Judy. Now Dee Dee's here and there's hell to pay. Hi everyone, we're going to make any trade days. Do you want a puppy? Huh? Don't get a puppy with we'll me. You Bro, I should have put on my shirt that I wore the day we got copper for good luck. I know. Like, I have to we can't like get a puppy, say. we can't do a puppy. However, when we were getting ready. Does somebody want to put this on me? Yeah. Thank you. However, when we were getting ready, I was mentioned in another glorious all hands on deck picture from one of y'all's cruises. Oh my God. And so Dad and me came up with the idea, if we ever go on a cruise where like we like tell everybody, oh, come with us, come with us. We're gonna have a huge meeting in like the promenade lounge with one all hands on deck. And we're gonna try to fit everybody's hand on it. <laughs> Don't you like that idea, Dad? <laughs> I love it. All right, I can get it on if you can. And Dad, will you come show everyone how full hey. you look? I'm going to fall. Come fall me. No, he's going to fall higher. If we check in, you would go next to those. No, you don't. don't. I'll see you on the route. 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 Shaggy Louis Grout. 
Spotted Wednesday Adams having a cigarette on a Saturday. Well, that would be its full name. That thing I'm doing, a pink dog. We're talking about puppy names. We can't get a puppy, but um, this is your first Saturday stop. Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Dee Dee, are you secretly wishing in your brain right now that you could get two dogs? Yes, I want two doggies. Dad said what I color? I want to try really bad. They're a cool. tri-color? Mm -hmm. I want a black and tan. What do you want? Red, ruby, red a collie. Now it's time for dad and duties. Du <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Judy. Um, it's time for them to get their treat. It's a sweet team from Chicken Expressy. Howdy, y'all. We made it. Dee Dee, look, everyone's podunk. What does podunk mean again, dad? Okay, we're here. Let's go see what they have and let's see what happens. It's a much cuter vibe when it's sunny and you come here, don't you think, Dad? Um, yes. And I just told Dad it already smells like sweet though out right here. Pongo. Oh, those are cute. Looks like copper. They ha oh my gosh, they have three Cavaliers. They're so big compared to copper. Hi, baby. We brought one home here two years ago. Oh, she's oh so goodness. cute. Hi, honey. And you said 15 weeks? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. She looks just like copper. She does. Hi. She does. Hi. So she's so pretty. Oh, she's so soft. She's pretty too. The try. What do we do? Support, support her. She's bottom. like, would you create a voice for me, Brian? We're gonna get her. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did we just do? <laughs> we got a dog. What the Oops. heck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We have a girl dog. What the heck? Like, are you? Oh, we have a girl dog again. This is so weird. Do you understand that we got her the same weekend we got Copper two years two ago? Years like, ago. So oh we my just have god. To wait two years for her to calm down. Oh my and god. Then we're good. We are officially a family of how many now? Four, we used to have six, two cats and a dog. Now we have six. two dogs and a cat. Oh my god, is this gonna be crazy? Nope. Are you really crying? Oh. Yeah. Hey, bro. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh my god, bro, you're so welcome. Thank you, I love my family. Tess trying to get her to go potty. She's like, where the <laughs> hell am I? We are in the car for the first time ever with our new puppy. What will her name be? Everybody's trying to brainstorm. I want like Rosie. Rosie's Rosie. cute. Rosie. Or like... Rosie. Dad, you have two dogs. How do you feel? <sighs> Another what mouth to feed. Okay, it fits in my foot. Oh my god, she is literally already loving on her big sister. Oh my gosh, bro, you have a little brother and a little sister now. Is that crazy? <laughs> oh my gosh, are you going to Hollywood with us in two me. weeks? Ladies and gentlemen, we present Ensign Benson Holgate. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Yeah. We're taking the puppy to her first PetSmart trip to go get some food. Oh, playing with me. yeah, it took like a day. Okay, I really hope Copper loves her. Oh, she loves you. She's doing well at her first PetSmart visit. We've got some food and a can of pumpkin to mix and change her food up. This is our new puppy's first time coming into our house. We did it again. Oh my gosh, I know. We did it again. I'm blocking you, so oh, dad wants a cleaner. Do it. What in the hell? Dad is giving her her first bath. Oh, look. In the sink. Little girl. Come here. Oh. She's so scared. I feel bad. She's so scared. Her first time walking around the backyard. She's already imprinted on dad. I know, I want Copper to meet her. Girl. Oh. No barking. Oh, nice, good boy. Brother good and boy, sister, brother. oh my God. Good boy. Oh, oh man. my gosh. They are going to be a beautiful dog to duo. Oh, is it over there? I thought it was over here. There's a door. 
We're taking her to a little doctor checkup. Dad, she loves you. It's so cute. 6.4 pounds. Oh, our little Penny is what we're thinking for a name, and she is just like the rest of us. She's glued to Dad. <laughs> Hi, we're home from the vet. Uh, so the doggy has a little cough. Uh, they said it's minor. She didn't have a fever or anything like that. It's, it's a like little a little us upper respiratory. So um, they just, ha Copper can't be with her for like three days until her medicine is kicks in because he could get the cough and we don't want that. You're going to have a sibling very, very soon, okay? You just can't play with her right now, honey. Isn't she so sweet? Hi. You were such a good girl at the doctor. Yeah, you were. I hope you're not homophobic. The puppy has just licked water off of Jad's hand, so she's already starting to act like me. Did you do it? You did it. You did it. Okay, everyone, we're at Marshall's. No, we're at TJ Maxx now. We forgot to eat lunch because we've been so sidetracked. But we are looking for little toys to get her, or we can go try Target and then go to um, Marshall's after Jad. Nice. Oh, that's cute. Okay. okay, we struck out at TJ Maxx and Target, so we're here. We're getting some puppy shampoo. We're gonna get a few things just just to hold us over. Okay, that's adorable. Walmart sells Gap clothes here. We are home now from getting um, a little collar for her and whatnot. So I don't know if I adequately said what's going on with her, but she has like a little cough and they think it's from being around too many dogs, which makes sense. There was a lot of them. So Copper and her have to stay separated for a few days. But she did great while we were gone. She actually had a little accident right there. We didn't. We threw away the potty pads because we were not expecting to get another dog. Um, but she is much more like alert and awake now. And she just let out her first bark in our house. We heard it from downstairs. And I tried giving this to her. She won't touch it. <laughs> Your mouth is so cute when you chew. I haven't seen her eat yet. Hi everyone. We're about to do our first photo shoot with the baby who's not technically named yet. Hi, so cute. Oh my God. She's literally gone and sat with the statue. Just don't jump in Copper's poop. I won't. She barked. Yeah, she has a personality. I'm trying to avoid the poop. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Oh my god. What am I gonna do? Oh. You love her? I don't know. That was fun. You exercise. Oh, oh, there's your okay. baby. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, you picked me? Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie pie. Oh, look at you. Dee Dee's trying so hard to get a photo shoot, but she just wants to hide in the plant. Isn't she so precious? Oh, my goodness. Look at you. And that's, this is Holly back here. Is hiding by Holly. Hi, honey. She's trying to do her first walk because we really need her to go potty before we go get bro. Mm -hmm. But she's not about it. No! Oh, cool. How come the sun never like looks as cute in videos? It's Here. so pretty. Sunglasses. Yeah, it, yeah, that's cool. It looks like elemental. Anyways, Copper has been kind of like neglected because we've been busy, obviously, today. So we're taking him over his best friend. You wanna go see Leo? Where's Leo? So yeah, so Copper's gonna go get to see Leo at Miss Betty's house. We're gonna hang and chill for a little, so probably see you tomorrow. Yeah. We're not sure of her name, but she is definitely having her personality start to show. <gasps> Wee! Alesta. I'm cute. Looks like she did it again. This is Copper on Sunday morning looking at his sister. She doesn't do it? Yeah. But it's like, it's, yeah, it's like whenever you're sick, like you like... This is. Yeah. This is the sister. We need to think of her name. What about Honey? Honey Holgate? I honey. love Honey. Copper, Honey. That's cute. Honey, come on. Copper, Penny. Penny's just like... <laughs> yeah, we're not sold on Penny. Hold on, will you hold him so I can go see her? Dad is so sweet. He slept in the hallway with her since Copper and her can't be commingling really closely until we and stay. Hi. Are you honey? 
honey. But how do we make nicknames out of honey? Can you believe we have two dogs? Isn't that crazy? Um, just did some Sunday self-care. Today we have cotillion in like two and a half hours or something like that. Um, so we gotta get ourselves in order. But one thing I was gonna show you is this po- the still It is, I'll bring it down in literally 10 seconds. Okay. One thing I was gonna show you that I thought of when I was taking my Sunday bath is this potion dad made for me. So this is what I call my potion. It's the, ba the base is coconut oil, and then I'll have to find out from dad what the other like essential oils are in it. They, like essential oils you can get at like Walgreens or whatever. But anyways, I've been using, and it's like, look at what a cute little shape it's created. But I've been using this every single night when I get out of the shower, literally since 2018. I put it on any mole, anything that could look like skin cancerous or redness or anything. And literally every single thing I have ever put it on goes away. Literally, like that's why I call it my potion. I don't know if I'm like jinxing myself or something like that, but I put it on moles, I put it on just anything that looks out of the ordinary on my body before I put on my pajamas every night. I'll find out what it is and pass it on. I'm happy to share this. I'll just have to find out what it is. We're in our meeting of trying to figure out her name. We don't think it's Penny. Um, and I did look this morning and it says that that's like one of the most like used names for female dogs is Penny. Penny, mm -hmm. Penny and um, what was the other one? I don't remember, but anyways, We've, we're working on some containers. And I told you say that, that our personality. Her. Yeah, that's At all the stores like at Five Below, PetSmart, and uh -huh. the little pumpkin spice latte. So uh huh. I, well, so what I told Dad is her personality seems like she's gonna be like our dog Holly that we had forever. Who she was like smarter than was, pretty like, much all three of us. Holly was smarter than us. And she knew. And it. yeah, and she knew she it. Was like the boss. But um, she was like a B word. But <laughs> their breed is so intelligent, but they're so lovable and cuddly. And so I told Dad, I'm like, I feel like she's gonna be like a little judgy of others. And so Dad was like, How about Heather Tupero? But is that your sister? Yeah. My yeah. dad. Faces. That's funny. This is so funny. I'm going to like edit what the title will be and it's giving me suggested titles, dad. And look, it says, suggested title, I'm a cameraman slash mom life. What? I'm... This is a this is life, a day in the life of our couple. Day in the life of Vlogmas, let's get Christmas started. I want to make sure Copper like feels super important because he has like the apple of my eye. So I'm going to take him on his own little walk so he feels special and loved. And look, it's a beautiful, perfectly blue sky. And this is so random, but this old little tree stump, doesn't it look like a beaver going, what? For breakfast, Dad made a breakfast burrito. I came out to tell Dad some new name contenders and I stepped in her Okay, I think we know, we know her name, it's Le um, Cleo. Wait, everybody say it at once, ready? One, two, three, Cleo! 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 Cleopatra, coming at ya. So technically she's named after Pinocchio's fish and that works for me. So we have two Disney characters. Thank you. Okay, we've got Cotillion in an hour and a half, but we can't leave here until this kitchen is clean. So Gigi's gonna clean it as fast as he can. Yay! <laughs> and the puppy finally peed I outside. in 20 circles and she finally went to the Yay. spot I took her to and she went. Why don't you go put her in her thing and she can have a nap while all of us do like things to repair for the day. Okay, Dee Dee Laps getting this kitchen clean in record time. Thank you. Dad said the dog is walking up the stairs for the first time, so we're gonna pause on the cleaning and go see this. Must be. Leo. She's like, no thanks, I'm not walking up those steps. I'm. Papa was doing it at like nine weeks. I know. Welcome to Cotillion part two. Normally, I think there's like six Cotillion classes and they're like one a month or something like that. But um, this one is only three weeks from the last one. So it's really close, which she's excited for, but it's kind of frustrating because all of our week lately have been so insanely busy with plans that like we don't have any like downtime to get like life things done at home, let alone take care of a puppy. Kenzie is over there putting on her Dior lip gloss. She'll be with you in just a moment. Look at how pretty Kenzie looks. That's the Dior lip gloss, right? Sephora.com, I love it. And this is the outfit Kenzie's chosen. Cute, right? Doesn't she look gorgeous? You look like a doll. Thank you. Dad's wearing, doesn't he look ravishing? The puppy's asleep upstairs. You can go to bed now, dear. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> I 
Hi, this is us after Cotillion, not stabbed. We're making a video to show you how beautiful Kenzie is. Cotillion was great. Um, Dad said he didn't have Cotillion, he just watched Princess Diaries. Actually, yeah. he didn't say that, I said that, but I love that. And Dee Dee, did you have a good time at Cotillion? Yes. And any cute boys? No. Love it. We're gonna do a quick little family photo shoot with the, um, both dogs, because they realized they didn't get one of all of us with them yesterday. Look, we have two dogs now. One, two, big brother, little sister. Go push her in front of the camera and show her. They were like running in a circle. Brother and sister? Careful. Sweet dad made a huge pot roast and we're having tacos with it. Tail is old as time. We're going to pick up the dog food that our puppy needs. Did you remember to take a picture of the brand so that we know what Duh. we're buying for the second time? And then who are we going to go visit, Dee Dee? Beckett and Miss Lindsay and Bronx and Bob. We're visiting Miss Lindsay and her road to recovery from her surgery. Boom, Dad! <laughs> so we're headed to a place called Pit Supermarket because the dog won't eat the food we got her. So now we have to try this one. And please don't have any live animals. I don't want to get sad. Um, Dee Dee, you need to remember to come here. Their treats are two dollars. I paid 10 bucks oh at the other place. It, Dee Dee. So cute. Dee. Thank you. Yes, Dad. Oh my God, how's Jess? Want a treat? Where's Leo? Come here. Come here. You did so good. Come Cleo sounds a lot like um, Copper's best friend, Leo, and it's like driving Copper crazy. And Kenzie had said Ariel for a name earlier to dad. And now I said Ariel and I'm like, oh, it's so girly and fun. Let's see if she's awake. We gotta talk. Ready to play. She is. There's the personality. She is pouncing all over the place. And Hi. Nibbling it. Well, we gotta talk. Like, <laughs> I pulled her out of bed. Okay, we're making meatballs. This is a Kenzie favorite and it has nothing to do with pasta, nothing to do with red sauce. All right, so it's one pound of turkey, two eggs, bell peppers, onion, panko breadcrumbs. They're just bigger, coarse, They'll hold, hold moisture better than regular ones. Ketchup and mustard. And then they get a glaze on them after of ketchup and brown sugar. This is one of the only things, not the only things, but this is one of her favorite things to eat when she was like, what? It's the OG Kenzie will eat that. Yeah, this is where Kenzie will eat that phrase comes from. Okay, so we're gonna like, not quite mince up an onion, but not chop up. We're gonna just have like pretty small pieces of like a medium, I like yellow onions, they just have a lighter yeah, flavor than white onions do. And then you're gonna saute these and the peppers in a little bit of oil, olive oil. Okay, so one onion. Okay, so here's our one onion, and this is, uh, what was it counting, four, five? Basically equal parts, one onion to bell peppers. And they're chopped up pretty small because you don't wanna have huge monster bites in your meatballs. And then over medium heat, go ahead and put them in a pan with oil. And then just toss those around. And you just want them, you don't want them browning, so that's why I do it on medium heat. But you do want them to be soft and translucent. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. And it's recommended to salt your like onions and vegetables you cook. Like if you were to saute vegetables for any reason. But you salt them while you're cooking. And it's just a matter of kind of learning the taste of how much salt and pepper you personally like. So get that on 375, and then get a large cookie sheet. I put foil just to avoid the mess. All right, so while the onions and peppers are sauteing, we're gonna go ahead and build 
the base of the meatballs. So one pound, this is a two pound pack, one pound of ground turkey. You could use ground beef. I've never used ground beef for this recipe. I just prefer using turkey um, for most of my cooking because it's just a lot less fat. And it has such a mild flavor that you can really make it be whatever you want it to be. Okay, so one pound of turkey, two eggs, ketchup. Now, I made this recipe up, and so once again, I never measure. So let's do, that's a tablespoon. That's a tablespoon. So maybe three tablespoons of ketchup and yellow mustard. We're gonna do maybe one and a half tablespoons of yellow mustard and then salt and pepper. It's about a teaspoon and a half of salt. Okay, now the secret is the panko breadcrumbs. So I just don't like regular breadcrumbs. I think it's like crumbled cardboard. Um, Panko breadcrumbs just hold moisture better. They're yummier for fried stuff. So that looks like about a cup. So let's start there and see what happens. Pause, I have to stir my veggies. So go ahead and with your hands, get that tossed together and make sure that you really combine this well because Sorry, Kenzie, to rat you out, but once upon a time, Kenzie helped me. This was a long time ago. She helped me make grandma's meatloaf, and I let her do this part. And when we sat down to eat it, me and Dee Dee looked at each other with kind of bug eyes because she didn't combine the sausage and the beef very well. And so it was, like, very noticeable um, when you're eating it, and you don't want to have big bites of, like, turkey when you're eating a meatball. Basically, these are like a meatloaf meatball. Okay, so that's obviously really wet. Like, it's too sticky. So, add more breadcrumbs. That's like a third of a cup. Start with that. You can always add more. Okay, so that's looking a little bit closer. Still not quite. So, let's do a cup and a half. Maybe a little bit more. So, we don't want it dry. So, get that really mixed in well. But do you see how you can grab it and it doesn't stick? Okay. And the texture, if you feel it, it's, I mean, that is a lot of breadcrumbs. Okay. That is disgusting. Look at that on camera, Dee Dee. Look at that. Okay. All right, now we're going to add our onions and peppers. So basically you want to cook them down till they're soft, okay? Now this part, I recommend you use like a spoon to stir these in, but um, I do this often, so I'm gonna use my hands, but I'm not recommending you use your hands. Oh, how much uh, breadcrumbs, you wonder? All right, so this was a brand new can of breadcrumbs, and it is now filled to here. Okay. So about three-fourths of a can of breadcrumbs. All right, so the meatballs are big, okay? So not a baseball. Um, they're kind of like smaller than a tennis ball. That's like two inches, okay? And I usually can get like 10 or 11, 11 or 12. Oh, pause. Oh my God, I've literally been talking for two minutes, thinking I was recording, telling like sweet stories about Kenzie being little and Dee Dee and I, and him wanting meatloaf. And I looked down and my phone's not even recording. So you just missed all that. So basically what I was saying is, um, Dee Dee wanted meatloaf after we got married. And I was like, you're gross. My mom didn't make meatloaf because she was my queen. I follow what she believes in and she does not believe in meatloaf. So um, I'm stealing some from each one because I don't have enough. This is what I have left and I need enough to make one more meatball. So we're gonna pinch a little bit off of each one and hide it. So anyways, Dee Dee requested meatloaf, I said gross, he said please, I said okay. So I got grandma's recipe, 
fell in love. Thank you, Grandma Susie. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna make it with ground turkey and I'm gonna make it my own flavors and we're gonna make it in meatball form because it like cooks faster, right? And they're cute and fun. And like, oh, I get personal meatloaf for me. So that should be good. So then I made this and I thought, instead of just putting like tomato glaze on top, I'm gonna use ketchup and brown sugar. And it was a hit with our little two-year-old. Like I, I think I was saying this when it wasn't recording. I have always been an advocate for forcing your children to eat what you make because then they like it, they like what you like, and I would never, ever, ever want to be a parent where it's like, okay, we're having these and you get butter noodles or chicken nuggets or that's just a headache for me. But I love all of you parents out there who do that. I know quite a few of them, but that's not my life. I can't handle that. All right, so each one of these is about two inches in diameter. Diameter is um, all the way across. And uh, what do we have? Four, eight, ten. So Dee Dee and I will have three each and split one. And Kenzie will have maybe just three. Something like that. And like everything else, I never time my food when I make a recipe. So I'll let you know how long they go in for, but I check the internal temperature for poultry, chicken and turkey and whatnot, is 165 degrees. So when the center of these is 165 degrees, that is when they're done. And I'll tell you how many minutes that takes for me. Okay, and back in the day, I used to always make homemade mashed potatoes, but who has time? So these are... No, I'm not talking to you. I can. But this is our favorite one. And um, it's just a little like packet. And then, cause the big boxes, I just think they're kind of like gross. Um, and then we just do that with corn. Okay, now this is the glaze. So the meatballs have been in for 30 minutes. And what we're gonna do now is make the glaze. It's literally brown sugar with a little bit of ketchup. We're gonna do now, I'm not packing the brown sugar, so it's hard to but measure. But I can, I'll do it for you guys. Okay, let's see. So this packed brown sugar, a cup would be half of this. So mm, then that should be like it's a spoons. little bit more than half a cup of packed brown sugar. So maybe a third of a cup of ketchup, okay? Okay, so that's what we're look, what it looks like. So it's really gritty. We're gonna take them out and brush that all over them and then put them under the broiler for like 30 seconds or a minute or whatever. Hey guys, this is Kenzie recording. I'm gonna help dad out. Okay, ow, 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 Can I speak for you? Um, as long as you speak correctly and if you don't, okay. you're grounded. Oh, okay. Okay, so now dad is glazing the meatballs. And you just wanna put like an even amount on every little side to make it perfect and beautiful. Yeah, I more like blob it and I do go all the way. Go all the way down because otherwise you'll have like weird dry patches. All right, so there's our meatballs. They are glazed, and now they're gonna go into the broiler. So hit broil, put it on high. Could you just die? Don't those look so amazing? Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. I like my corn mixed in.